Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm just going to be showing you hopefully a quick tutorial on the crocodile stitch. Um, as you've seen in my previous videos, I've been doing a time lapse of my crocodile stitch shawl, which I've also been calling my dragon scale shawl. Uh, this yarn, if you're interested, is actually one of the Halloween ones from Hobie. Um, you will be needing quite a lot of yarn for this. This was a, I think it's about an 800 meter cake of yarn. And as you can see, it's not the biggest shawl. Uh, so just make sure you do have enough yarn because I mean, each dragon scale is made up of 10 double crochets or if you're in the UK, treble crochets. It, do, it does use a lot of yarn. Um, I'll just flip this over to show you. So I'll be just going to show you how to begin one of these shawls and how to do the crocodile stitch. I mean, I always find the back is on this stitch is just as nice as the front. Um, and as you can see here, this is what the back looks like. See all the individual scales. You can see here where we've, there's a lot of double crochets. So the double crochet is what we're going to be making as posts is what we'll be calling them. And you make your dragon, uh, sorry, your crocodile stitches around these posts. So you can make it in whichever yarn you like. Today I'm going to be using emu yarn. Uh, this is, I think it's, this is double knit, I think. Um, and I'm going to be using a appropriate crochet hook, which is, I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook. This color is actually pumpkin. I was trying to find a nice light color to show you this on, uh, but I discovered I don't have any white at the moment. So what we will be doing, now I have seen a couple of different ways people have started this, but this is my preferred way. Okay, so if you make a slip knot, okay, okay, and then you're going to chain six. So we go one, two, three, four, five. And then what you're going to do is put your hook back through the first chain to make a loop and then you're going to yarn over your hook and slip stitch through both of those loops. Okay now as I said before you make your crocodile stitches through double crochets this is like the first one you'll be making it's the only one you'll be chaining like this to make. So what you do is if you chain three, one, two, three, that makes your first double crochet, okay? Yarn over, and then what we do for crocodile stitch is you put your hook through the loop, yarn over, pull it back through, and then yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. Okay, and then you're gonna do it three more times. Okay, and again, once more. Okay, so that is just one side of your crocodile stitch. Okay, then what we do is what you then need to do is work back up the other side. So we're going to chain one. Okay, yarn over, and then if you just turn your work. So you're now going this direction, so you'll be heading up this side. Put your hook through, yarn over and pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then you're going to repeat that four more times. Because you see on this side we only did four double crochets because that first chain three counts as your double crochet. So you need to do that four more times. That's one. Two, three, four. Okay. So there you go. As you can see, that is the first one. Now, what I'm going to do, this is the only time I will be doing this, I'm going to just flip my work over because you're continually flipping your work over as you're going through, you're going to end up with scales on both sides. Uh, and the only reason I'm going to flip it over is because how I like to work with my shawl is you'll be doing two different rows to 
to complete a dragon a, a crocodile stitch you need to be doing a row where you'll be making your double crochet posts then you'll be going back again to do the uh, 10 double crochets to make the, the scale so what we need to do is if you chain three here we go one two three and then we need to make a double crochet here on over into this top double crochet here like that so as you can see there is including that chain two double crochets so you've got two posts there chain one yarn over and then you're going to do two double crochets in this gap in the middle that you made here for your crocodile stitch so put your yarn uh, your hook through sorry so we do one oops two and you chain one again and then over here in the top of this the top, uh, between these two double crochets here you're going to do two double crochets so one and two okay so here you can see that, way, that you've got obviously this scale at the bottom and then you've got two posts two posts and two posts so if you look at my shawl if you look on each row you've got so here you've got a scale and then you've got scale and then three scales so each row you'll be adding one scale uh, but when you look you've always got a scale in between each lot of scales if you know what i mean so here you've, where you've got the two there's a scale between here we've got three you've got scales in between and the only reason I'm saying that is just to help you. So when you're going back along, you don't accidentally do the stitch into the wrong set of posts. So wherever you have the posts that go through the middle, right here, of your previous row's crocodile stitch, you do not do a crocodile stitch on that one. So what we do now, let me just pull some more yarn off because, whoops. We're no longer flipping the work that was just for the first row okay so we're going to be working a crocodile stitch into these two posts here so you do chain three one two three because this now creates your first double crochet so you'll now need to do four double crochets down this post so if you do yarn over and then we're going to do so you'll be going under this post, up through, pull the yarn through, that's not right, so what you'll be doing is you'll be taking your yarn over your hook and going through the middle of these two posts outwards so because we're going down this side we'll be going in that direction when we're coming up this side you'll be going in that direction so yarn over through the middle yarn over pull back through and then double, uh, finish off your double crochet so you need three more Oh, it's misbehaving, bear with me. There we go. Okay, so you see that's the first side done. Do a chain to make the bottom. And then yarn over, and then you'll be going up this side. So put your yarn through the hole. And then what we'll do, because this isn't the end, you need to go through there and then lift it. So what you've got is that post over the top of your hook. Put your yarn over and pull through. And then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you want four more of those double crochets. So that's one, two, 
three, four, so there we go. So you can see there, let me just pull that out of the way. Sorry, that bit there is bugging me. There we go. So as you can see there, we now have two scales. And what we'll do is, like I said, you don't do a crocodile stitch into these two posts here, which we go between this scale here. But what you do is if you put your hook through, or between those two there, them two posts, and just put your yarn, yarn over to pull through and just slip stitch because what that does is it just anchors the edge of that scale down so it won't be flapping around and that will also then anchor the next one down because obviously it's anchored down there so then we yarn over and what we are doing is you see now we've got the two posts here on the end lift that one up so yarn over put your hook through the middle and to the outside of the posts, I'll say. So pull that through. So you want five double crochets going down. So two, three, four, five. And then you do a chain for the bottom of the scale. Yarn over. And then we're going back up this side. So it goes through the hole to the outside and then yarn over and you want five double crochets to go back up this side. So one, whoopsie, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, crocodile stitches done and like I said this is very yarn heavy um, I found that this is actually quite quick to do but and people have heard me complain quite a lot the yarn I chose from Hobie to do this with was four individual strands and you could not crochet quickly um, but I mean it's also good if you can you can take your time you don't need to rush it uh, just for me I wanted to you know crack on because it is quite a lot I mean my shawl alone I worked out had I think it was something silly like 516 scales which when you then think that's like 5,000 double crochets just on the scales themselves it didn't include any of the ones on the back it was it blew my mind when I realized so what I'll do I'll do another row with you uh, and all you do is you build it up like that I mean if you're making a blanket there is another way you do it so it doesn't increase uh, but that's not what I'm going to go through today um so we'll do one more row together so what you want to do because you're starting another row we need to make the posts again so you'll be doing a chain three again so you'll always start with a chain three because this makes the first double crochet and the reason you do that is to build the height up that's why you don't do a double crochet you, you, the chain will make the height for you so that is the first double crochet yarn over and then you are putting your hook through the top of this double crochet here and doing another one here okay so that's your first set of posts done chain one and then you're doing two double crochets into the middle of this crocodile stitch Okay, then you chain one and then if you hadn't guessed you'll be doing two double crochets into the middle of these double crochets on the previous row chain one two double crochets into that in the middle of that uh, scale one and two chain one and then you'll be doing two double crochets into this top double crochet here in the gap so we go one and two now if any moment you think i'm going too fast then you can slow down youtube videos or you can pause it 
uh, you can rewatch it as many times as you like. Um, like I said, this is quite a simple one once you get used to it. I found that when I was making my shawl, the first few rows, I really, really struggled doing the double crochets. But I realized that what I was doing was instead of going like through here and to the outside, I was trying to go and turn it from the outside in. And that makes it, it is doable, apparently, but it is very uncomfortable. And then the second I realized I was doing it wrong, it just, it all clicked. And like I said, I well steamed off as fast as I could with my awkward yarn. So what we do to start the, the scales again is you do a chain three, one, two, three, yarn over. Now that's the first double crochet, so you need four more. So one, two, three, and then I can get on the hook number four. You chain one to make the bottom of your scale, and then hook through, and then just lift it through the gap. There we go. There we go. And then, as I said on the previous row, you don't do any crocodile stitches on these posts that sit in between the scales. But what you do is you do a slip stitch in between those to anchor your scale down. I mean, now when you look from the previous row, that is not flapping around, that is anchored down. If you didn't anchor it down, you would have, a, it would be harder when you just put in this double crochet and it wouldn't, you'd have to mess around a bit more. It just makes it look a little bit tidier. Okay, so I'm now just gonna finish this row off. So I will be doing no crocodile stitch. This will have a crocodile stitch in it no crocodile stitch, and this will have a crocodile stitch in it, okay? So what I'll be doing soon, um, I will be making another tutorial on the crocodile stitch. I've recently made some hand warmers, which I did share in a short, and it has been requested that I make a tutorial of it. So you just have to bear with me while I make that. Um, my tutorial is slightly different to other ones I've seen because the bit that goes on the palm of your hand, I have seen some where this is all crocodile stitch or they've done double crochet along this bit. Now, I didn't want crocodile stitch all the way around my hand warmers. I also didn't want double crochet here either because double crochet can be a bit, there, there are holes in it and I wanted them to keep warm. So I was trying to come up with a way to do it. So it, this was all single crochet and it's probably not the the best way to make them but this is the way that I have made them and I was very happy with the outcome of them so I will be showing you that very soon Three, four. so um, yeah, I hope you will like this tutorial and the well gloves wristlets hand warmers whatever you would like to call them um, there we go in the middle of that one Okay, last little bit. And then I will show you how, how I finished it off because I didn't have enough yarn left to do another row of crocodile stitches. There was no way I could have done that on my shawl. Um, but what I did do, I, did, I couldn't leave it though with just double crochets at the end because I, yeah, I'd, I'd rather do single crochet sometimes just because it's, like I said, not as holy. Um, so, bear with me. Let's finish this off and I'll show you on my shawl. Okay, so there we go. So you do this for as many rows as you want to do. This is obviously just three. Um, my shawl that I've made before, this is 33 rows, but I mean, there is a... A bit of a difference in the size of my scales because as you can see this is obviously double knit this was not these scales are fractionally bigger so I could probably um, this would build up a lot quicker now how I finish this off 
Now, as you can see, I am actually still finishing this off, but I've done the majority of it, which is why I was happy to declare it as finished. So I did one final row of double crochet, which sorry, I'm showing that in the, in the dark bit. Yeah, so I did one final row of double crochet, as I've been doing on the previous rows. But then what I've been doing is using the rest of my yarn up, and it also just looks a bit tidier to me, I am doing rows of single crochet. Because like I said, if I did it in double crochet, there'd just be all these gaps, and I just, I don't want that. So yeah, I, I'm just going along back and forth, and I'm just finishing it off with some single crochet just to tidy it up. So let's show you on um, little one. Oh, my hook's fallen off. So, as you do for previous rows, chain three and double crochet into that one to make the posts. I mean, you could probably finish off right now with the single crochet straight away, but I think if you try and do that, it might be, you might get confused. Because I mean, when you look at the top edge, there's a lot of stitches along here. If you do it with these double crochets, as I'm doing now, you can clearly see I've got the usual chain of stitches, I'll say, that you normally get. So let me just do this and we'll get to the end and I'll show you what to do next. Bear with me, my yarn has just got tangled. The cake has eaten itself. Oh dear. That's what I get for winding my own yarn. To last one, yes. Yeah, so, all I did to finish off was I then I turned my work. So, this is the only time I really turned my work to work back and forth. I chained one and then second chain in. So, one, two. I just did single crochets, or in the UK, these are double crochets. So, I've just missed a loop. Okay, and then yeah, I just single crocheted. And then that again is for as many rows as you would like to do. And that, like I said, is how I decided to finish mine off. I just for me it was just a little bit tidier, just pulled it in a bit tighter because like I said, otherwise it looked a bit gapy and holy to me. So, and then all you do when you finish your rows, if you have finished doing your single crochet, is you just fasten it off as you normally would. I usually do a slip stitch and then Pull the yarn through the hole again. That makes no sense. Yep. Yeah, so once you've once you've finished, so pretend I've gone to the end. You just finish off how you normally would. So I would say uh, I'll slip stitch into if I can get my hook through, but it's a bit weird. There we go. Yes, yeah, so finish off how you normally would. So we'll say I've gone to the end. So slip stitch into that stitch and then yarn over, pull it through. And then my scissors have gone for a walk. What you do is you cut your yarn to pull that off and then you just weave your end in. Um, like I said, that is my simple Dragon Scale uh, tutorial. So this will just build up wider and wider every row that you do because you'll be adding a single scale to every single row. So I said I do intend to do a wristlet uh, hand warmer tutorial soon. So if you'd like to see that, please subscribe. Uh, every sub you know, subscription will help to add more content to my channel. Um, I will see you soon then. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.